so hi friends good evening welcome to sql master so today i am going to discuss that it's very popular question that how to validate millions of data in etl testing okay so this is very popular question and in every each and every interview interviewer will going to ask about this question okay so but uh, it's very confusing also okay still uh, many of the candidates uh, who are giving interview in etl testing not has been clear about how to validate millions of data in etl testing okay so let it be clear here so but before starting video if you are not subscribed to sql master kindly subscribe to sql master and uh, to get more videos like this okay so let's get started here so this is having only two scenarios okay so one is within same db okay another scenario is within different using different databases okay so source is within same db means source is also oracle and target is also oracle but within uh, uses different database means source is mysql and target is azure or aws cloud platform so then how you are going to validate these things so just start here you can observe these things clearly first okay see here millions of data and different database so when we have to validate millions of records we have two scenarios like they like uh, data validation within same db data validation in different db in first option you can use accept command in mysql or minus query in oracle you know how to use minus query okay so first select query minus second select query that is source uh, select query and target select query whichever is not present in source that will display if it is present in target or else whichever reverse vice versa and whichever is not present uh, present in target and that is not present in source that will display okay vice versa so you know minus query so if you are using mysql that is accept if it's having different db then how different database here we must have to use some automation tools like python c sharp or other tools depends on company which tool it is uses okay by automation tool we have to write script for automation then we execute millions of data validation here so in interview also you must have to tell uh, with confidentially about these two scenarios okay so uh, if the interviewer ask you which automation tool you just say that python c sharp we write the scripts there only so just uh, you say that we have to use automation tool to validate millions of data like python c sharp or other depends on company different db means one is mysql and other is azure or aws cloud based in such case we have to use automation tools so this is only the possible uh, way okay so learn some automation tools and learn scripting these are also very important for etl testers because you have to learn about automation tools before attempting the interview and learn try to write the scripting okay learn any one language python or else any other okay java selenium you have to learn any one language so if you know how to scripting then it will be more easy for you to validate different databases data in different databases or else in if it is in within same db you have to use minus query in oracle or else if consider mysql you have to use accept but when the situation came uh, of uh, different dbs you must have to use some automation tools compulsory okay this is what the most confusing questions for the people how to validate data how to millions of records millions of records okay so this is only the possible things so you just try uh, learn first automation tools and learn scripting okay that's all and then use uh, google it or youtube it you will get uh, many videos to learn these things how to uh, use automation tools how to uh, write the scripting okay first uh, learn those things and uh, you will be 100% confident to answer for these questions okay so thanks for watching this question if you like like it and share it and uh, i will be with you with some more new concepts thank you thanks a lot Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Take care.